Shalom friends, Bob here in Nashville. And I'm ready tonight to watch the fifth game of the NBA Grand Finals series between the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. And I heard a commentator say that one of the players was playing half-heartedly. Half-heartedly. So I looked it up in the Oxford Dictionary, and the opposite of that is wholeheartedly. So you either get half or whole. Okay. And then today in the Bible reading that I am with uh, folks from Brentwood Baps here in town and the church in Lachlan Spring, 30 meters across the street, um, uh, we're reading 1 Kings 15, 2 Chronicles 16 today, and there seems to be a theme that's very similar. It's about wholehearted. It says that uh, in 2 Chronicles 16, that the eyes of the Lord roam uh, across the entire earth, uh, looking or uh, to show himself strong for those who are wholeheartedly devoted to him. Wholeheartedly devoted. So I looked it up, and of course the words, the Hebrew word shalem, meaning shalom or complete or full. Um, it's it it really is at its root that which gives us peace with God is when we're whole with Him, and and then you think about that basketball player. Look, today is the anniversary of the death of my friend David Wickersham. I don't know if you know that name. He was a baseball player for Detroit and for the Tigers and for the Kansas City Athletics before they moved to Oakland. Dave was a pitcher, um, a modest pitcher, uh, sometimes good, sometimes eh, okay. Um, he made a name for himself. He made a career. He did well. And one of the things I remember about Dave is that he would sign autographs. And back when I was a, a young lad, um, I would gather lots of those uh, autographed balls and autographed anything because my dad somehow got me connected. That was great. And here was Wickersham, and he would sign his name, uh, Dave Wickersham, C-O-L dot three colon one seven. What? What was that? I, I had no idea, but it was some kind of code or something that 007 could break. But no, that wasn't it at all. And when I came to faith in Yeshua in 1971, long after Wickersham had gone and the athletics had gone, um, I looked and found Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, and realize that that's what he was signing. Whatever you do in word or deed, it says, do all in the name of the Lord Yeshua, giving thanks through him to God the Father of all. So here was, if you will, a life verse, that which drove Dave Wickersham to be a good baseball player. And he wanted everybody to understand whatever he did in word or deed, it was all to give thanks to God through Yeshua, through Jesus. Well, that that's powerful. And how do you have wholehearted devotion and practice and play baseball? How do you, like he was a beautiful man, his wife, Carol, she was, she was great, the children but, um, in his life. And so here, what does wholehearted mean? What's half-hearted? Does it mean divided in half? Uh, yeah, officially, but can you be a good a great baseball player and a follower of God. Well, uh, you'd think so. Well, isn't that half-hearted on both? No, the issue is, and I think of Pistol Pete Maravich, who died back. I mean, he was a champion. You just go, if you don't know who Pete Maravich was, six foot five, played for LSU, played for his dad, who was the coach. Um, came out and. Uh, played for uh, the NBA. He was it was stellar. You you look at videos on YouTube of people from that era testifying about who Pistol Pete was, and you'll realize, wow, this guy was a superb basketball player. He was great in every sense of the word, and yet it was just a few years before he passed away that he, like his father, 
um, gave his life to the Lord and wanted to go out and testify about what God had done in his life. That didn't stop him from playing. In fact, he died on a basketball court at 40 years old. Uh, but was wholehearted different than your time differential? In other words, does wholehearted mean everything I do, morning, afternoon, night, every, can I eat dinner? Is that okay? Or do I have to, do I have to only fast and pray or something? No, wholehearted means everything I have and do, everything I'm thinking and being, my whole motivation in life and my mm, objective in life is to bring glory and honor to God. If you can uh, let your motivation, your end result, everything you do be a testimony to who God is, what he's done in your life and in the lives of your family. I mean, Dave Wickersham, Pete Maravich, both had loving families to whom they gave themselves. This is being recorded on Father's Day weekend. Um, and, and you think, well, if I'm wholehearted, but what role do children have or grandchildren? I mean, for me, one of the great things that Jews for Jesus has extended to me is the opportunity to serve half my time here in Tennessee and half my time in Sydney. Why am I bifurcated? Well, I've got five grandkids here and two daughters and one, uh, two grandsons back in Sydney and my son and his wife. So you get this idea that, wait, if I'm split in time, aren't I half-hearted here and half-hearted there? No, it's not that at all. It's, am I doing things unto the Lord? Is he my motivation and is he my end result? And if that's you, then you're understanding this, the eyes of the Lord. Where is that? 2 Chronicles 16. The eyes of God are roaming to show himself strong. They're roaming throughout the earth. There's not a place on earth, China, Buenos Aires, here in Nashville, wherever you are, there's not a place on earth that God's eyes are not roaming to find and to show himself strong. So he'll fill in the gaps. That's pretty awesome. For those who are wholeheartedly devoted to him. In other words, he is everything to me. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, doesn't, can I watch television? Well, of course. Can I watch sports on television? It's not that I'm the best at anything. It's that I want God to be praised and glorified in all that I do. And if that's where you are today, then you can write COL period three colon one seven at the bottom of your story. Whatever you do in word or deed or thought, we could add, do all. Do all, whatever you do, do all in the name of the Lord Yeshua, giving thanks through him to God, the Father of all.